I put a short commentary to uh, talk about our fourth day at Lake Cascade in Idaho. Uh, it was definitely our, our coldest day of the week. Uh, I, I spent a majority of the time inside of uh, um, a good friend now, Derek, I met up there. Uh, one of the guys in our group, he was nice enough to let me use his, uh, his shelter to stay out of the elements um, a good portion of the day. But uh, it was definitely a high pressure day. Uh, you know, um, really didn't warm up that much. The wind was blowing a little bit, and the fish were dirt definitely turned off. They were uh, they were very lethargic, and uh, we definitely had to finesse the hell out of them to get them to bite on day four. So uh, tungsten ruled ruled my day. Uh, I, I used the uh, Kalen's. Um, Rattle Google Eye Tungsten Jig, and uh, I ended up losing my last two that day on uh, some nice rainbows. I cranked up uh, a lot of the rainbows were riding about 10 foot under the ice cap and um, had two good sized fish on and I just had too light a line and uh, uh, with it being so cold, um, you know, put a lot of stress on that line. So uh, luckily I had other tungsten jigs I could tie on um, for the rest of the day, but uh, Caught my first, uh, my, my, my uh, uh, personal best fish of that day was 1.83 pounds. And uh, I didn't break the two pound, um, um, you know, the threshold that uh, a lot of us, a lot of us uh, look for the holy grail size of a two pound fish. Uh, I didn't break that until Friday. So Friday was definitely my big fish day. So, uh, Definitely stay tuned. I have uh, uh, some good footage here, and uh, I'm also going to post a, uh, a video of my, uh, my big fish uh, final day five up at Lake Cascade. Uh, thank you for stopping by, and uh, please like the video and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Uh, feel free to leave some comments below, and uh, uh, if you're heading up to Cascade or... Uh, it's on your list. It's it's definitely a, a, a worthwhile trip to take, and uh, be happy to answer any questions any of you guys have. So, again, thanks for stopping by and enjoy the video. We're here in Cascade, Idaho, on Lake Cascade, chasing jumbo perch. Come along for the action. day four at Lake Cascade. Uh, today's definitely uh, the coldest day we've had. Uh, definitely the highest pressure system too. Um, we got a big uh, system moving in tomorrow. Sounds like we're going to be getting uh, eight to 12 inches here. So moving in tomorrow morning, I think around nine, lasts until Friday. And then <laughs> we're actually road tripping back to Utah on Friday. So that's going to be kind of interesting. But uh, it's been a finesse bite today. Everyone's been working a lot harder for fish. Uh, but, you know, a lot of the fish are moving through every 15 minutes or so. So you got to be on your game and uh, paying attention. Uh, a lot of them are uh, suspended coming down for the bait. So, um, 
It's been interesting watching the fish activity on the Vexilar here at Lake Cascade. You know, a lot of these uh, perch, uh, the smaller perch will hug bottom. You know, you'll see a lot of smaller marks, but the big, the big jumbos, the, the big fish we're going after, you know, they're, they're cruising in, you know, four, anywhere from four foot off the bottom to halfway up in the water column. And uh, there was actually a couple, couple good sized marks today that I cranked up to. They were probably more than about 25 feet of water here and they were cruising through in about 12 to 15 foot of water. And uh, yeah, they took my bait, but I think they were good sized rainbows. They were, they were fighting pretty hard. So it's uh, a lot of fun watching the activity. Um, it's about a 15, 15 minute uh, um, rotation. The lesson I learned today was uh, I had a couple big fish on and uh, I snapped one of my uh, tungsten jigs off uh, getting a line wrapped around the uh, transducer. Couldn't get the transducer out quick enough um, and the fish was uh, you know radically pulling the line so um, I lost one that way and then uh, just had a larger fish uh, come in and smoke the bait and uh too light a line you know for the size of the fish so i learned uh having uh my transducer down one hole and uh line down the other uh especially with larger fish in the area on day four um it, it helped uh, get a few fish out of the hole a little quicker without uh, having any issues I uh, just caught my, my uh, broke my personal best, 1.83. Uh, caught a real nice, nice female. Um, I, I just let her go. We weighed her and uh, we got a little bit of a, a friendly competition going. My buddy's winning so far. He's got a 2.27, 16 inch fish he caught yesterday. Um, but it's been a, it's been an extremely fun time here. If Lake Cascade's on your bucket list, it's definitely a place to uh, try to get to. It's uh, so beautiful up here, 7,500 feet, I think, elevation. And uh, yeah, it's been, it's been a fantastic trip. Feel very blessed.